okay the f now let us talk about uh, the packed bed by reactor and the fourth type the packed bed by reactor is little bit different than other type of by reactors because in this case we are commonly used with the attached biofilms and especially it is utilized in the wastewater engineering so we utilize the biofilm production so uh, a mat is there which is called a bed which is made up with a column packed with different bed and and packed with enzyme means here the enzyme is not added uh, as it is the enzyme is provided by microorganisms so we put microorganisms into this bed and they will produce a mat so suppose this is a uh, fermenter so we are having a mat we add microorganisms they produce a biofilm now as we are providing our substrate through this channel the substrate will be converted to product because of the presence of this biofilms that are there so here say the substrate so let me change the color red color so this red color thing is a substrate which is moving and it is converted into the product why because there are microorganisms in this middle so one thing we have to make sure about this by reactor is that we have to inject this substrate very slowly because most of we need to have a longer time duration of transferring this lipid from this region to that region because this is the only region onto which microorganisms will act onto the substrate and will convert it into our product okay sometimes we may not require products utilizing bio reactors sometimes you, uh, we can use this bio reactors to intoxicate some materials for example in this case we are having bad water we are having waste water and we need to treat this waste water right so that's why we need to take out some of the bad components from the waste water out and this uh, bad components of the waste water can be taken up by bacteria which made the biofilm on this bed so what we are doing here we injecting waste water through this channel slowly so that this wastewater can have a longer period of time to interact with this biofilm which is made up with bacteria which will take up the bad materials from wastewater making it good and then when it is coming out it is better and it it can be released into the uh water streams okay so this is the basic idea of doing the packed bed by reactor now there are some major disadvantage of using this packed bed by reactor because we need to use this packed bed now there is some problem with associated with the packed bed now alteration in the bed porosity can happen okay so bed porosity alteration can lead to the compaction of this bed materials so you can make this bed with with different materials it could be wood chips it could be many inert materials that can be there no so they can be compacted so as a result of this bed compaction the pore that are available bet between one and two uh, beads will get uh, smaller so that the water can be logged so the water logging is a problem here and also sometimes uh, suppose in some stretch of the region it is tightened and some stretch of the region the pores are joined together to make a really long tunnel long channel so this long channel will allow uh, this water to move really faster through that region and on the other region the water will be logged so what happens this channeling uh for that kind of channeling the wastewater will move really faster and come out from this place so as it is moving really faster microorganisms may not have sufficient time of contact with them to convert those wastewater into good thing or good water or intoxicated water so that's why uh this there lies the disadvantage of utilizing them okay now what happens here in many of the packed beds a slight amount of back mixing occurs which changes the characteristic of the fermenter so we don't need to bother about that okay so to modify this type of uh, advantages of channeling and bed compaction we can utilize a material to make this bed which is much more uh, better okay much way better than utilizing those wood chips and all those inert materials so in this case we utilize most of the time nowadays we utilize fluidized bed instead of the solid base now what is a fluidized base now this fluidized bed are simply made up with some jelly like structures so it is a solid liquid uh, consistent material so 
so it, it is instead a fluid so it's not a solid thing it's not a liquid thing now it's a fluid so as it is a fluid so they are the, the the they have the window of stretching and contracting in between them, themselves sometimes increasing or decreasing the pores that are available uh, between two different uh, regions now we can make it with inert core onto which the biomass is created by the cells by the cell attachment second thing is the porous particles in which the biocatalyst is entrapped the third thing is uh, the cell aggregates so in any kind of fluid based by reactor what we can have we can have these three different things one is the inert core onto which the biomass should be attached second thing is the porous particle in which the biocatalyst are entrapped because the biomass uh, or the bacteria will produce the enzyme or biocatalyst which is to be entrapped and that should be entrapped into the porous particles and third thing is that when when those bacteria are dead the cell aggregate should be there in some region okay so in comparison to the conventional me mechanically stirred by reactors fluid based by reactors provide a much lower attrition of uh, solid particles okay so say here from here we attach the substrate in this uh, bed of fluid the same mechanism just like uh, the packed bed we are adding all those microorganisms so the microorganisms are there uh, produce the biofilm now from this inlet we are adding substrate so where is it yeah okay so we are adding the substrate and the substrate is produced converted into the product because the biofilm that is present there will produce the enzymes which is entrapped into some porous particle which is also a part of this gel and they can produce product and we can get it now what are the advantages advantage is that without uh, the draw black of clogging and channeling and the bed compaction in this kind uh, compared to the packed bed because in packed bed we can have channeling we can have bed compaction and clogging and water logging but in this case those things should be avoided those things can be avoided now this ensures the better mixing and also the volumetric productivity attained by this fluid bed by reactors are usually higher okay so having all these advantages we can select fluid bed by reactors over the packed bed by reactor okay so that's it and i hope it will help you to understand what is different types of by reactor and what are their uses so depending upon the type of a uh, product we are going to get depending upon the type of microorganisms we need to add we will vary our type of bioreactor for example if we want to treat a solid waste we we must use uh, the plug flow bioreactor if we want to use uh, the wastewater to intoxicate the wastewater we must use the fluid bed bioreactor and the packed bed bioreactor now if you want to use those if you want to produce some product which is uh, being produced due to the presence of some uh, aerobic microorganisms we must use air lift bioreactor or and 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 above all uh, most of the bioreactors uh, most of the type of products industrial products must be carried out or produced utilizing stirred tank bioreactor because this is a ideal kind of bioreactor that's why we have talked before about the stirred tank bioreactor in detail okay so that's it and i hope this will help you to understand a different type of bioreactor and their mechanism of action thank you